So I left this out. Question one has a negative inside. I, I don't know why I do this. And I don't think there's any more that have negatives, are there? So yeah, it's just question one. But just like we talked about yesterday, if you have a negative two times the cube root of negative five, I tried to, I always tried to use stupid, like situational words that make sense, that would make sense to me. That negative still needs to get out of jail, right? And so really as silly as this might sound, you're gonna think about this root or this expression as negative two times the cube root. Ready for this? This will feel a little weird of negative one times five. And the reason we think of it, and you don't have to show work like in a case like this, it's overkill, but I just want you to know behind the scenes that this is what enables us to do what we're about to do. If you want to get the negative out of jail, which you do always, that's part of the process of getting things to be combinable and simplifiable is you got to free the negative. And when negative one cube roots out, what does he become? What does the negative one become? Uh -uh. He stays a negative one. So the cube root of negative one is negative one. So what winds up happening is that jailbreak of negative one multiplies by the other jailbreak and really it's as simple then as saying so the number in front becomes two and then it's just now what we want times the cube root of five does that make sense okay sorry about that